How good does it feel to be able to breathe? <sighs> Assessing someone's breathing can give us a lot of information about why they may be presenting in a particular way. When we assess someone's breath, try saying that quickly, assess someone's breath, assess someone's breath, assess someone's breath, assess someone's breath, we like to assess the different parts of the rib cage being the upper, mid and lower rib cage. For example, when someone comes in and they're presenting with either headaches, neck stiffness or tightness, upper back tightness, roundness through the shoulders, it's really important that we assess their breathing pattern because they might be using their accessory muscles of respiration. These muscles are required when we need more oxygen. For example, when we're going for a run, doing high intense exercise or cardiovas cardiovascular exercise, and we need labored breathing to help us oxygenate our body. It's so normal in today's day and age that we all become quite rounded through our shoulders, given our work at our desks, computers, phones, etc. In these types of postures, it's very common for people to use their accessory muscles of respiration, particularly at rest. So this might look like a big inhale with a rise of the shoulders and tensing of the muscles around the neck. This can really contribute towards tightness and stiffness in that area, as well as headaches. This is why it's super important to identify this in anyone who presents with upper back or neck pain or stiffness, headaches, even shoulder pain. When we breathe at rest, we simply want to be using our diaphragm. Our diaphragm is a dome shaped muscle that sits at the bottom of the rib cage and you see it rise and fall as you inhale and exhale. There are some really simple and effective exercises that we can do to promote diaphragmatic breathing, offload the accessory muscles of respiration, and generally get that rib cage moving easier, which helps to promote proper and efficient breathing. When we breathe properly, we oxygenate our tissues more effectively, we think more clearly, and we're overall a lot more productive. That sounds pretty good to me. Have a look and see what we can do to help you breathe better. <sighs> Start by lying on your back comfortably with one hand on your chest and one hand on your stomach. Focus your breath into your chest so you feel your hand rise on your chest. Then focus your breath to your tummy so you feel your hand on your tummy rise to the ceiling. See if you can differentiate between chest breathing and belly breathing. When we focus our breath into our belly, we're using predominantly our diaphragm. If we focus our breath into our chest, we are more likely to use the accessory muscles of respiration. That is, the muscles that connect into the neck. Continue to breathe into your belly for a few minutes. Once you've done this, then try to equalize the breath between the belly and the chest. This should feel like an equal rise and fall of both hands. To further promote diaphragmatic breathing or belly breathing, start by lying on your tummy with your shoulders nice and relaxed. Stack your hands and place your forehead on your hands as you then start to breathe into your belly. You should feel the belly press against the floor. This is using your diaphragm. One thing that can really help with this is thinking of the direction of the tailbone. As you take a deep breath in, think of the tailbone moving towards the direction of the back of the knees. To promote lower rib cage mobility, start by rolling up a towel and placing it under the lower rib cage. Stretch out your top arm and your top leg and take some deep breaths in, sending the breath to the top rib cage. To tie each rib together, we have intercostal muscles. This is a great stretch for these small muscles. As you breathe in, imagine the rib cage fanning open. 
This will help to stretch out those intercostal muscles as well as promote an increase in rib cage mobility. Improve rib cage and thoracic spine mobility by lying on your side with your top arm behind your neck. Exhale as you rotate around as far as you can without the top leg lifting off the floor. As you rotate to your open book position, take a deep inhale breath. This will again fan the top ribs open, stretching the diaphragm, stretching the intercostal muscles and promoting rib cage mobility. You can access different parts of the spine with this stretch by raising the top knee. Again, when you're in that open book position, ensure you take a deep breath in. Remember to only go as far as you can without the top leg lifting.